Crime is increasing across the Carolinas, and police on both sides of the border are worried about what the summer will bring. Tonight in Rock Hill, there was a rally to bring awareness to the issue. As Fox 46's Jamal Goss explains, even ways to prevent violence. With the number of violent crimes increasing in both the Carolinas and with summer starting to get underway, several community leaders in Rock Hill came together and hosted a rally trying to prevent crime before it happens. We come together after a situation happens, but we want to come out before anything happens. It takes a village to raise a child, and being proactive is how C.T. Kirk is hoping to change the negative path for young people. He's an activist and middle school teacher. COVID had us into the household for over a year, and now it's time to come out and not come out for gun violence or for drugs, but to be able to come out and do something positive. Dozens of people showed up as community leaders hosted a youth rally at Fountain Park. Young people got to perform and inspire. It's a way for them to use their voice and encourage them to stay away from gun violence and bullying. If our youth do not have a positive voice, they're going to lean to negative devices. And we see this so much with the growing technology that is around them that they're pretty much going in a negative direction. So we need to be where the young people are. How can we help them if we're not where the young people are? Jamise Blake brought her three sons and says it offers them the chance to be around other kids and for her to set an example in front of them. She says events like this are important and lets her know the community is standing in the gap for the youth. I'm particularly troubled. According to SLED, the murder rate in South Carolina went up by 25% last year and up 51% over the past five years. And in Charlotte, CFD says they're seeing a spike in violent crime among mid-teens. As we inch closer to the summer months, officials expect more youth will find trouble. Meantime, Mayor John Geddes says it's a generation of young people who are at stake. The youth gets a chance to see the adults showing how important talking about and being against bullying and violence and all of those things is important. Not every one of our youth have a support structure that emphasizes that. And young people were able to get registered to vote and families were able to learn more about affordable housing and most important, socialize and get to know what groups are doing what in the community. There are plans underway to host another rally in the coming months. In Rock Hill, I'm Jamal Goss, Fox 46.